Hey, everybody, it's Wednesday the 22nd. Not just Wednesday the 22nd. It's the beginning of Lent. It's Ash Wednesday. Probably the most populated um, day when people come to church. I think it's more than Christmas and rivals Easter. It could be even more than Easter. There's something about Ash. I don't know why we get so excited of having a piece of you know, mud or dust inscribed on our foreheads. And a couple years ago when we had the uh, COVID broke out, people were upset because they couldn't get their ashes. Wow, they act like they couldn't get their lunch or dinner or get their paycheck. I want those ashes. So something, something powerful about it. Hmm. Anyway, even now, we read from Joel chapter 2, it says, Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting, weeping, and mourning. Rend your hearts and not your garments, and return to Lord your God. A little boy had just returned home from Ash Wednesday church service. The little girl from next door asked him what the smudge was on his forehead. He replied, oh, it's Ash Wednesday. What's Ash Wednesday, she asked. Oh, he replied, it's when Christians begin their diet. <laughs> a lot of people see it as their time, the diet to lose weight. Summer's not too far away after, after, once you get to Easter. But it's not just a diet, it's fasting. There's a difference between diet and fasting. Fasting is giving up something that we like for something better, for our relationship with God, to grow in grace, to detach from things that hold us down. For we want to say that, Lord, you are the ultimate joy of my life. You're the one that's satisfied. Nothing here on earth. So I hope that you do be able to come to church on Ash Wednesday, and I hope you do something more than simply come to church on Ash Wednesday and get your ashes. I hope you're doing something, that some sort of prayer, some sort of fasting, that bring you a little closer to Christ during this Lenten season. God bless you.